Hi passionate viewers, this is Priya. So this is the video about how to study for physiology. So when you're in medical school, you want a go-to source that's easy to read and easy to understand and, you know, lets you uh, pass the course with good understanding. So the most go-to books that medical students use is BRS Physiology. So this would be BRS Physiology. So BRS Physiology, this one, the one I'm holding, is the fifth edition. And this one particularly has uh, seven chapters. So it should be an easy read. So um, that would be the best source to do while you're in school. And if you're in the Caribbean, um, when I went to the medical school in the Caribbean, it was only uh, four months, I would learn physiology. So if that's the case, then this would definitely be the best book. Um, along with this, you can also use um, Kaplan Physiology. Um, so Kaplan Physiology is divided into, like I think, 11 sections. And each section has like one or like three, four uh, chapters max. So altogether, I think the chapters are like 31 chapters. Um, I know the chapters and the sections because when I read, I like to know how much is left. So I always total up the chapters and try to break it up in days and that always makes it easier for me to read. So um, so Kaplan Physiology and BRS would be um, the go-to textbooks uh, for physio. However, if you um, are like me and you like to have full understanding of what you're learning, like you want to know every little detail, but why does this happen or why is that happening because of this, then the go-to source for physiology uh, like the mother of all physiology is Dighton. So this is Dighton. This is the 8th edition that I'm holding. And um, as you can see, it is a very thick book. It is about like 84 chapters and like, I don't know, like 15 sections. So it's a lot. It's, it's definitely a lot. I would definitely advise you to read this throughout your medical school. Like, you know, maybe like 10 pages a day and then by the time you've done your basic sciences, you'll be done the book. Um, it is very well written. It does provide you all the information, so there's no gaps. There's absolutely no gaps. It um, It's it's very flowy, so it, all the information is flowing to each other, so you will never be like, wait, why is this happening? Wait, where did this come from? Uh, BRS, uh, Kaplan, you might not have those questions, but if you, you know, if you're overanalyzing or if you're critically thinking about things, there, there won't be answers in those textbooks for those questions. But guiding for sure will give you all the details. And then there's also um, Made Ridiculously Slim Simple series, which has clinical physiology, which is this one. I also have this one. And the, the reason I got this one was, this one was uh, very helpful when I was about to start clinicals and I needed the physiology integrated into the clinical component. So this was helpful with that, but it did not provide the core foundation of physiology because it's just it just links clinic, clinical experience with the physiology, but doesn't really tell you all the uh, detailed facts about physiology like the other three books do. Now, if you are finding yourself, um, you know, it's difficult to read any of these textbooks and you feel like your basics is is not as strong as it should be, I would advise you to um, go to books that you may have used in your undergrad, like if you did your undergrad um, at a university um, in any science-related subjects and you have a physiology textbook, I would advise you to use one of those. Or I would advise you to just go to the library and get yourself an anatomy introduction to physiology textbook and just read from there um, to refresh your memory or to teach you the basics that you may not have that may not be strong. So I have a book that one of my friends from the island gave to me um, and that is Essentials of Human Anatomy and Physiology by Elaine and Mary. And this is a really good textbook. Um, I have used it. Uh, for some parts of physio, for example, for neuro, I needed some refreshing and I had this book on the island, so it was very helpful. So, um, yeah, that would be my advice to study physiology. So BRS, 
would be the number one choice because it's concise and it's only seven chapters so it's an easy read and it gets right to the point and it covers um, all the major hot topics and it's written by Costanza who also writes um, the um, physiology book for um, physiology so you can also read the uh, book by Costanza which is I think another um, like I think it's published by McGraw-Hill or Nelson, whereas this one is part of the BRS series. So it's up to you really. Casanzo is really good in explaining physiology. So, so that's it. So that's how I study for physiology. So if you have any questions, please do feel free to post below. Thank you guys for watching and good luck studying. Take care.